Hey, Samarth. Oh, hello, Max. Haven't you ever wanted to find the hypotenuse of one of those squares right there? Uh, one of these square tiles right over here, Max? Yeah. Uh, I, I actually do want to find the hypotenuse, but I never knew how to do it, so maybe I should just, uh, leave it. Well, actually, it's pretty simple. All you need is something to measure how long the sides are. Oh, is that because we don't already know the units? Yeah. Alright. Uh, how's a tape measure? Because I conveniently have one right over here. That sounds great. Alright. Let's start math. Let me help you measure this. Let's start with the width, Max. You should, but first, you don't know what the width and length is. This is the length, and this is the width. That's so the length, the and width. that's the width. So as you can see here, 59.5 centimeters. Say that one more time. 59.5 centimeters. So I'm going to come here and see. Yes. Oh, all right. And the length. The length. Is. 58.5 centimeters. That's 58.5 centimeters for the length. Now let's do the math on this whiteboard right over here. So, as we had learned, the length is 59.5 centimeters and the width is 58.5 centimeters. centimeters. So, first we have to cut the square in half to make a triangle. Two the triangles. Yeah, tri two triangles. This is called the hypotenuse. That and to know, we, we know it's a hypotenuse because this is a right angle and it's directly on the opposite side. So, now we will use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That seems like an important formula, Max. Yes, it is. c squared represents the hypotenuse, and a squared and b squared is the width and the length. It doesn't matter which one's which. Okay, well then now let's start substituting. So wait, wait, how do we know which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, c squared is always the hypotenuse, and then a, a squared or b squared is always the width and the length. Also, is it because it's across here? Yes, it is. So 59.5 squared plus 58.5 squared equals c squared. Now let's do the math. Yes, Max, let's do the math. Oh, you have a calculator. Yes, Convenient. 59. 0.5 squared is 3540.25 and 58.5 squared is 3422.25 so all of this is equal to c squared c squared and the answer to this is 3,422.5 plus 3,540.25 is equal. Let's write, since that would be a big number, let's write the C squared over here, Max. Okay, now that would equal to 6,962.5. Big number. Now, to get rid of the little 2, we need to square Wait, what is that, point. what is the ter mathematical term of the little 2? It's a square root. It's, yes, yeah, square root. It's square. So basically, it times the number by itself. Today oh, and, and what is the long squiggly line on the that starts at the left that looks like a heartbeat monitor at the hospital? Oh, that's called a square root. And basically, you add the square root to both sides because whatever you do to one side, you do the other. So basically, the square root and the square, they cancel out, leaving us with C equals whatever this number is. Now let's try that out. Now we have to do the square root of 6962.5. Which is 83.44, 4, which is roughly 83.44 with a bunch of other digits behind it. Yeah, there there seems to be about 10, but we just decided to go to the hundredths place. Yeah. So now let's write it in as 83.44 centimeters, because units are always important. Yeah, never forget the units, and if you, what do you do if you don't know the units, Max? Well, then you just write down units. See if our approximation was correct. So let's measure the hypotenuse. Is that correct, Max? Yep. So we first get one corner and go to And then the we do it directly to the other. Yep. And then as you can see here, it is approximately 83.44. So, making that a right angle. 
So did we do the Pythagoras theorem correct, Max? Yeah, so we used the Pythagoras theorem to find out that this was truly a right angle.